First, right now, we have to get you to some breaking news from overnight. I'm Danita Harris. I'm Mike Brookbank. A fire at Euclid Beach Apartment Complex and not only destroyed multiple units, but now water damage affecting dozens of others. Tanisha Cordell has been on this scene this morning for us. And what's the latest, Tanisha? Yeah, you know what? Well, we do know folks are back inside the building. That's good news there. We told you, as you just mentioned, that water damage really keeping them from that opposite from the flames. We're told again, though, this was an accident, an electrical spark fueling the flames. They're up on the eighth floor there. We've been asked to move a little further back, so that's why you can't get a good vantage point. But video from our overnight news tractor really captured those flames and the damage. You see firefighters, of course, up on ladders fighting back. We're told it was put out very quickly. Lieutenant Mike Norman with a Cleveland fire tells us that that's what's made this fire a little more difficult to tame their main concern really having to evacuate residents who were of course home at the time but are typically he says safer staying put in a building during a fire like this. You know a lot of times in an apartment fire situation especially a well-built structure like this your safest places to be to shelter in place to just stay in your apartment. Uh, if people get onto the stairways start evacuating trying to tie up the elevators and so forth. That can be a concern for us as we attempt to fight the fire. Of course, reality, though, very scary for those in that moment. Good news, though, no one was seriously hurt. We did see and know that a few people were treated on scene with very minor injuries. We did speak to Ronald McCray. He's lived on the fourth floor, so four floors under where that fire was. He's lived there for five years now. He says he's used to fire trucks, fire alarms going off in this building, but this fire, again, really different, scarier for everyone involved. I heard that big, it sounded like a bomb. When I was coming out of my apartment, I think the emergency did a good job. Probably saved a lot of lives, because like I told you earlier, I saw a lady in the window, she never left the apartment. Great. And the fire was right there next door to it. Damage estimated right now, according to Cleveland Fire, about $60,000. Again, that unit, of course, damaged by those flames and surrounding ones, we're told, of course, have smoke damage as well. But again, good news. Folks are back inside. Scary moment. Definitely put at ease for a lot of families involved. Anita, Mike. Yeah, glad everybody is okay. Tanisha Cordell, thank you.